Get ready for an exciting lineup of TV shows coming in 2024 and 2025. From DC spin-offs to Marvel adaptations and even a Disney classic reimagined, here's a sneak peek of what's on the horizon. Waller A spin-off of the Peacemaker series, which was itself a spin-off of the Suicide Squad film from 2021. The show focuses on Amanda Waller, played by Viola Davis, who is the ruthless leader of Argus, a government agency that recruits supervillains for covert operations. The show will explore Waller's backstory, motivations, and conflicts, as well as her interactions with other characters from the DC Universe. Daredevil Born Again This is a new Marvel series on Disney Plus that will feature Charlie Cox reprising his role as Matt Murdock Daredevil, the blind lawyer and vigilante hero. The series will be different from his previous Netflix show and will also star Vincent D'Onofrio as Wilson Fisk, Kingpin, the crime lord and archenemy of Daredevil. The series is expected to be released in spring 2024. The Lanterns Lanterns is an upcoming Max science fiction superhero series based on the Green Lantern Corps. It follows Green Lantern's Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart as they watch over Earth and investigate a terrifying mystery and is a part of the new DC Universe. Gunn confirmed in his announcement video that Lanterns will be released as an HBO Max exclusive series. This comes as no surprise, given that HBO Max has become a one-stop shop for all your DC content needs, especially when it comes to Green Lantern. The 2011 film, the Justice League animated series Green Lantern The Animated Series, and just about every Green Lantern animated film can be found on one of the best streaming services money can buy right now. Since the show is still in very early production, Lanterns doesn't have a hard release date or schedule yet, but it does have a vague release window. In Gunn's release plan announcement, it appears that Lanterns will release sometime between Gunn's Superman reboot, Superman Legacy, and the super anti-hero ensemble film The Authority. The Authority doesn't have a release date yet either, but we do know that Superman Legacy is planned to be released in theaters on July 11, 2025. That means that we can more than likely expect to see Lanterns arrive on HBO Max sometime after summer 2025. The Walking Dead – The Ones Who Live A new AMC spin-off series will center on the romantic journey of Rick and Michonne, beloved characters from the original show. They'll navigate an ever-changing world filled with fresh threats and challenges. Andrew Lincoln and Denai Gurira, who departed from the original series in 2019 and 2020 respectively, will reprise their roles expected to premiere in 2024. The Penguin After making his debut in The Batman, all eyes are set on Oswald Cobblepot's return in The Penguin, which will expand Matt Reeves's Batverse within DC's Elseworlds division. Since Colin Farrell's performance became so iconic, it's understandable why many fans are looking forward to the release of his solo DC series on Max. But does it have a release date yet? When is it coming out? The Penguin TV series release date could arrive by mid to late 2024. Matt Reeves' Penguin series began production in March 2023, but came to a halt in June due to the WGA strike. It will wrap things up in the coming months and is set to arrive sometime in 2024. Considering that it might need ample time in the post-production stage, it could arrive in mid to late 2024, more than a year before The Batman 2. The Ironheart after the death of Iron Man at the end of Avengers Endgame, the absence of the hero has been felt across the whole of the MCU. While, of course, there is always the Rhodes war machine to fill the void, the character has been much more focused on dealing with political fallout rather than getting right into the thick of the action. Even Riri Williams, the young inventor who, drawing major inspiration from her hero and mentor Tony Stark, takes on the mantle of Ironheart and brings forth a new era of the Iron Man persona and sensibility. And while the MCU has just introduced her character in the Black Panther Wakanda Forever film, she will soon be getting her very own TV series. Here's everything you need to know about the Disney Plus Ironheart series ahead of its release. Agatha Darkhold Diaries WandaVision spin-off Agatha, starring Katherine Hahn as the disgraced witch Agatha Harkness, is set to release in the fall of 2024 around the Halloween season. The show, first announced as Agatha House of Harkness in July 2022, was later renamed as Agatha Coven of Chaos. Right now, the show is titled Agatha Darkhold Diaries. Marvel's next Disney Plus product is Loki Season 2, set to premiere on October 6. Tom Hiddleston will reprise his role as the titular god of mischief. 
The Wonder Man. Another familiar face in the highly anticipated TV series is Ben Kingsley, who is expected to return to the MCU as villain Trevor Slattery in Wonder Man. Slattery was first featured in Iron Man 3, cementing his debut in the Marvel film franchise. But Slattery's most recent appearance was when he posed as Mandarin in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Kingsley is a highly acclaimed actor, whose work in the acting department has earned him much respect in the industry thanks to his roles in films such as Schindler's List. Nominated for four Academy Awards and even winning Best Actor for his work in Gandhi, Kingsley's future projects include a supporting role in The Way of the Wind and The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar, the latter directed by Wes Anderson. Since filming for Wonder Man started in April 2023, news of a confirmed release date has not been announced yet. Some have speculated a premiere date during the 2023-24 TV season, but stay tuned for further updates. Wonder Man is set to premiere on Disney+. Wonder Man also sees the addition of Demetrius Gross, who will play Eric Williams' Grim Reaper. The brother of Simon, Eric, doesn't quite fit in with his Williams family, especially since Simon is considered the pride and joy of the house. Shunned by his family members, this pushes Eric to pursue a crime-filled route that eventually leads him to gain a mighty scythe and take on the role of Grim Reaper. Gross made headlines for playing Rock in Straight Outta Compton and has taken on other parts like Errol in the FX series Justified. Most recently, he's appeared in Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities as Eddie in Lot 36. Marvel's Echo Echo is an upcoming American miniseries set to debut on Disney+, Plus, created by Marion Dayer. It's based on the Marvel Comics character of the same name and is slated to become the 10th television installment in the MCU produced by Marvel Studios. The show maintains continuity with the MCU films and stems from the Hawkeye series. In this series, Maya Lopez returns to her hometown, confronting her past, rediscovering her Native American heritage, and reconnecting with her family and community. Marion Dare is the head writer, with Sidney Freeland leading the directing team. The series is also under the production of 20th Television. Formally announced in November 2021, the series introduced Marion Dare as the head writer and confirmed Sidney Freeland as the director by March 2022. Filming took place from late April to late August 2022, spanning locations in the Atlanta metropolitan area, including Atlanta, Peachtree City, Social Circle, and Grantville, Georgia. Echo is scheduled for release on Disney Plus in its entirety in January 2024, marking its place in Phase 5 of the MCU. And that's that for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Also, don't forget to comment below and let us know which things impressed you the most. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.